Hello everyone! <laughs> I hope you're all good! Today I'm starting a new series called Molly Makes Good. Yep, Molly Makes Good. Um, basically I believe that there is enough furniture well, I know there's enough furniture in the world to go around forever, basically. And there's not really much need for people to keep buying new mass produced stuff. And I feel very, 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 very sad for all the kind of like beautiful old mahogany wardrobes that like your nan might have had that are beautiful and got detailing on the front and brass knobs and are like thousands of fucking years old. Um, <laughs> and they've just been left and no one really wants them. And I find that kind of sad. So it's our jobs to be sustainable and upcycle and repurpose you know all the existing stuff that's out there in the world plus obviously my standard sort of epitaph is that we're all one of a kind it's the best thing about us as far as i'm concerned um therefore your clothes should pretty much be one of a kind so you can sort of shop small and shop sustainable and blah. um and same for furniture you know you're going to find one a one-off table that no one else has got you know it's not mass produced from john lewis you're not going to have like the same as everyone else from dunelm or whatever you could find one which is like really cheap on facebook marketplace like a table or whatever a chair and reupholster it so it's actually completely one of a kind your own without further ado let me get into the next bit so first things first although i was sure i was enjoying the overgrown toddler stroke labradoodle look that I was serving you today. Changed my brain. <laughs> and the bunchies were not the one for today. Um, well, that's out the way. I have found these two tables off Facebook Marketplace. Oh, there's a dip. Oh. Um, this one was, was it £5 or £10? Temp no. Five pounds, so I gave the bag change. Five pounds, um, and this one was ten pounds. That's it. This one was five, and this one was ten. So I don't know why I just moved them because I don't even know if they're going to be in shop now, so I'm going to move them back. Um, obviously, they're really they're in my local area, and obviously, I'm in love with them because of the scottage. Oh, so 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 very beautiful and trendy at the moment. Um, I'm a big fan of a little curved scallop edge, plus they're both this barley twist leg base. So basically I'm going to be upcycling these two. And then on this one, I only chose to do it this way around because this one's got this lovely little lip on the edge. Um, I'm planning on just painting it olive green and then doing like contrasting bits in like a nudie blush pink. Um, I actually got some samples sent to me by Little Green, which I'm using all of them for a client's house, but I had two that came through in here, but I thought, actually, we can use those for the table as well. First of all, actually, how adorable is this? You're probably not going to think it's as adorable as I do. It's a little house. My paint came in its own little house. It's even got roof tiles. I was like made up when that came in. But anyway, yeah, so all of these are for a client's house, but I'm thinking I got masquerade, masquerade, light, but actually, hang on. No, we want, I've got masquerade mid in here, which basically right here just looks kind of nothingy. Looks kind of cream stroke white, but um, on a wall, it goes like a clayey, pinky colour, kind of nudie, peachy, clayey, pinky colour. How have I already managed to get that dirty? Jesus. Anyway, and then the other one, which is literally my favourite colour of all time, but specifically Little Green's shade, is their olive one. Where are you? Literally will be the last one to pick up. Ah! Oh, it's here. Olive green, but it's a really like pure, deep, rich olive green. I don't know if you can even see this, but we try. 
means on this table, the majority of it olive green. And then, I mean, even look at that, the way the sun hits that and you see the little scalloped edge. It's adorable. Um, and then I'm just gonna do, I don't know how much pink yet. I don't want it to look naff. Um, but as I say, this little lip you can see here, I think that is kind of deserves to be like highlighted, not just painted all in the same colour. So even if the whole thing's olive green, and then this little lip is in like a pinky colour, I might do that. So this one's more simple, I'm gonna start with this one. And also, I'm so sorry for any proper professional decent Lux Cyclers up there, Abby and Davis do not come for me. But the fact that this is kind of really grey and white, and this is like a really light, nice dark green, I don't really know if it needs sanding and priming. There's gonna be so many people hating me for doing that, isn't there? Anyway, I think it's fine. It's the, the base is white anyway. Um, I'm gonna see what how the paint goes on, and if it looks rubbish, then I'll do it again or something. But I think I should be able to just whack that olive green on there. That's the plan. So let's get into it. Love you, bye. <laughs> point that I realized funny enough this tiny sample pot of paint is not probably going to do the whole table as I say don't come at me I did kind of know that anyway kind of um but if anyone I'm sure anyone who's ever painted anything knows like a one liter tin often can paint a whole house literally I get a one litre tin and I'm like just got so much left so I was did kind of set myself a mini challenge to see how far a sample pot could get me so I need to go get some more olive green paint and I'll come back to you soon so the dilemma I had because I'm a really stupid person is I got some sample pots from Little Green for a client's house. I got so excited by their olive colour. I had this table that I was like, I'm going to paint it in their olive matte emulsion sample pot, which obviously is rather mini. Um, and then quite quickly realised it obviously doesn't cover the whole table. And I'm not stupid, but after speaking to the wonderful people at Little Green, I chatted with Alicia at Little Green, and she was like, we don't really recommend painting furniture in matte emulsion. Like it's sturdy, but it will scratch and you want something more hardy. So, once again, the magical people at Little Green sent me the actual paint and gear that I'm gonna need. Advice, which is professional proper advice that people, including myself, should listen to. Um, but you give it all a rough sand. Put the sand pit somewhere. Yep, yeah, down there. Um, and then you use a base coat, and then do maybe two coats of the eggshell, depending on what it needs, and that will do you. So, so I've already coated it in this matte emulsion. I'm gonna give it, to start off by giving it a little sand, and then we'll move on to the base coat, and then we'll move on to the actual painting. So I'm gonna give it clean as well, but you'll see. We made a start. We didn't make the best start, but we're gonna correct it. Now. In our world, it seems so small. I can see our dreams are crumbling in front of my eyes, but I do nothing at all.
everyone, look how gorgeous it looks. Oh, I'm so pleased with it. A little pink trim. Ta da! Put it on again. Because you can really see the true colour there. Yay! Beautiful. So, yes, this is our finished table. I'm so pleased with it. You can see in the sunlight that sheen on the eggshell. Um, the beautiful little trim on it. It's a lovely colour. And yeah, I'm just really happy with the finished look. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And um, yeah, obviously DM me if you would like to purchase. Thank you, everybody. Peace. Peace. <laughs>